uh, was bothered by your impersonation of them? This is a good segue for me because I want to say something about Keith Jackson. This was the, the, inter, the impression that got me so to call national attention was Letterman. Letterman had me on and uh, he wanted me to just do Keith Jackson. Now, I had heard, I don't know if we have the sound effect. Will we have this sound effect behind me if I ask for it? Uh, of Keith Jackson. There it is. Let me do it for you right okay. now. Well, hello again, everybody. This is Keith Jackson. This is College Football 2019. And who? Nelly, we've got a real barn burner for you. Yes, indeed, it did it live. It'll be ABC's Wide World of Sports with the proctologist from Johns Hopkins University <laughs> taking on the big red suicide machine from Jack Kevorkian Junior College. <laughs> and oh boy, there's going to be a whole lot of head crack. Let's pick up the action right here, right now on ABC. He rolls on the right side. He's got some run room the 35, the 30, the 25. He could go all the way, but he's hit and cracked and fumbled. <laughs> and that's the way he sounded, right? Now, Letterman hears this. I do it on national TV, and I hear that Keith is pissed. Yes. But he wasn't really pissed. He wasn't sure what my attitude was towards him. Well, he did tell me, he goes, I never said. I never said, whoa, Nelly. Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> but here's, here's a beautiful thing. We became really close friends at the end. And he, he will you do Keith Jackson for me? <laughs> right? <laughs> when, he pass, when he passes, when he passes, when he passes, his longtime wife, I think they were 65 years married, or maybe almost 70 years married, 60-something years, she said, would you do Keith at the memorial? And I, and I did. I did a memorial, Keith. Wow. And, and it just gave everybody a laugh, and it was warm. But Keith used That's to say, pressure, Roy. I, never, I never said whoa, Nelly, but I do like the way that he does Keith Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. True story. Did Cosell ever respond to you doing Cosell? Oh, many times. We, I had a was he a, okay with that? No. <laughs> he wasn't okay with anything. He wasn't like, right. I had. Do, can we get that hip hop thing up before I do this? This is. I wanted to do Howard Cosell and Muhammad Ali as hip hop. I need a little more t sound of the, the head sounds, headphones. Okay, here is Howard Cosell and Muhammad Ali. A little more. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, everybody. I'm Howard Cosell. Without further ado, there's the opening bell. <laughs> We're here today to view and observe a three-time champ with a hell of a nerve. He fought all comers with speed and savvy, though in later years, he got kind of flabby. Ladies and gentlemen, Muhammad Ali. Now, how would Cosell, I hear what you say, you're full of hot air, you got a bad toupee. I fought with style, I fought with class, you ain't nothing but a pain in my ass. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> but Cosell... Just to say that I, in the 1981 World Series, Dodgers, Yankees, I go in the dugout and I do this. That, my friend, was not an authentic impersonation. <laughs> now, if you do Keith Jackson, that's quite a different thing. I mean, he, he, he liked it when you lampooned others, but not himself. I know there were a couple of times that you had some guests who probably wanted to take a swing at. I remember Barry, oh, Barry Switzer very good. had a problem with you. Yes, I talked about white trash. I don't even know how I got into this stupid... Because this was about how he grew up. As a bootlegger. But why did you use the expression white I, trash? I don't know, Dan. I'm an idiot, that's why. I just said, you know, people would say that you grew up in a period where your family, a trailer park, white trash, and he goes, what do you mean by white trash? And I'm, uh, he's, I ought to punch you right in the mouth. And I went, whoa, th this was... Do you ever get any physical moments where people are rude and or they think you're rude or A Rod, A Rod and Lawrence Taylor? Really? Yeah. Well, I had Ted Turner on one time, and it was the day he was debuting his 24-hour music channel, and they didn't tell me that they were pulling the plug that day. And I said, and he comes on the show. The theme is rolling. Dun dun. That's our club. Sports look. Ted Turner, right? I said, Ted, tell us about this 24-hour. He goes, you're trying to make, you're trying to embarrass me, aren't? I, I went, what? I didn't even know that they, they pulled the plug in that moment. He gets up and he leaves. Kevin Johnson got up and left, pulled his mic. But, you know, we were lucky because we were taping. Yeah. But in some cases, the bird was waiting, and we didn't, meaning the satellite, we didn't have a backup guest. So it was like live anyway. Tom Watson one time got angry at me for asking about a, a previous marriage. No, it was Ben Crenshaw, I should say. Ben Crenshaw. He says, you know... You talk to me about anything you want. And he said, well, you talked no, about, right? They just said, well, you know, there was some hardship and a tough divorce. And, and then he says, I want that show pulled. For, I, it's, already, it's already airing. And he got mad at me. I'll never talk to you. And, you know, I had that kind of stuff, you know. But to, but to stay, uh, you know, curious, 
I loved hard. it. I loved it. You know, I mean, but it's it? only a it's a half hour show. Like I, my challenge is this is three hours, and the energy level for three hours yeah. is exhausting. Yeah. Like I look for the little breaks there, and you know when you do it, and then how much, how much did you go as scripted when you were interviewing people? Never. And, I never had a script. Never. I have. I would have a word. You know, father suicide or whatever the heck we were talking about, or you know, mother drug addict or whatever it was to remind myself that was the scenario. But I remember I had Shannon Sharp on. You, you ever have Shannon? I know he's at Fox now. but Todd does a good Shannon Sharp in person. Let me hear Todd. I think the Denver Broncos got to get a new quarterback. <laughs> it's not working out with Flacco. I don't know what they're always doing. They got to get a quarterback. Very good. I said, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I said, I said uh, Shannon, based on your academic, he was a very self-effacing guy. I said, based on your academic career, would you say you graduated to the level of magna cum laude? He says, Roy, the fact that I graduated is, thank you, Lordy. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was, you can't, you can't write better no, you than can't. that. No, you can't. And Jimmy V was, came to play. Jimmy V was, Wilt Chamberlain. I got to give me a quick Wilt. One, okay. Oh, 30 seconds. Okay. Wilt, sorry. Come out of a restaurant. I never met him before. 79. He's got a white Rolls Royce convertible. Two dogs. Great Dane Dalmatians. As big as horses. Beautiful blonde. Because at the time, and this is before the Me Too, he says, you know, I was the all-time leading scorer. <laughs> you know. so, <laughs> I wink, said, oh, wink. okay, Wilt, okay, Wilt. Yeah. So I go to, and I had never met Wilt, but he's wearing his silver and pur purple jump, silver and purple silk jumpsuit with a burgundy beret. He's got a lemon lined feather. I'll never forget this. African, uh, orange wraparound sunglass, African walking stick, no shoes backed up against the steering wheel. I said, Wilt Chamberlain. You're 7'2", you're 325 pounds. Look at this getup you have here. Would you like to come on and do the show? He says, Roy, I'd like to come do the show, but right now I'm trying to keep a low profile. <laughs> 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 can't write it. You can't write it. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.